G'day. Here it is. Next gen Ford Ranger is finally here. I'm super keen to get into the new V6 diesel and see how it performs. The tech in this thing is absolutely crazy. So now let's see what the competition has to live up to. I'm down in Melbourne today. We are test driving the new Ranger. Lots of Rangers, Rangers everywhere. Should be a bloody good day by the look of it. I think me and Pat are in this truck. So over the two days that we got to drive the next gen Ranger, I got to drive both variants, so the bi-turbo and the V6 already experienced enough with the bi-turbo with the Ranger Raptor so I kind of knew uh, what, what we were already getting there is in that engine. My main focus and probably your focus as well is on the V6 and that's what we really want to know about is what's this V6 like and and how does it go off-road so and that's probably the reason why you watch my channel is is we want to know how is how is that V6 going to help us off-road as four-wheel drivers and what's it capable of uh, what's the power delivery like? Can we tune it? Can we put an exhaust on it? Can we put a, an air intake, snorkel, those sorts of things? So I really wanted to focus down on the V6 and have as much time in that vehicle as I could. So the V6 off-road is a no-brainer, really. The, the power that the V6 gives you is just, compared to the bi-turbo, the bi-turbo, I still feel like I had to keep putting some input into the vehicle to kind of get it to do things I wanted it to do. Where the V6 is just, it, it, the V6 just idles enough where it'll it'll just crawl over things. We had one rocky section where it, simply just putting it in four low, the vehicle was just crawling and idling over, no issues at all. The bi turbo, I did the same scenario. I still had to give the vehicle a little bit of input um, into the throttle to get it to climb over some things. The, the V6 just did it a lot smoother and just had more torque to be able to do those sorts of things. So when it comes down to the two variants, the V6 is definitely what I would go for over the Bi-Turbo. Um, Bi-Turbo definitely still has its place in the market, um, but the, the V6 is just, it's that power that we've always wanted. Um, hopefully that engine is very tunable and we can put it, I think with an exhaust, it's gonna sound really cool. But that's just me, I just like bigger motors. Again, I drive an F250, so 6.7 liters of V8 power. So we didn't get to tow with it, um, the V6 is, is definitely going to be a lot nicer to tow with. Again, you've just got more power there. I think on-road, again, overtaking and stuff is going to be way safer. You have that power at your disposal when you need it, and you're not you're not hunting for it. You're not trying to find it like many of the other dual-cab utes, uh, the four-cylinders and things like that. You're always trying to find the power or find the run-up to, to overtake and things like that where the V6 just, just gives you that, that power that you need it when you want it. So if you're going to be towing and things like that and doing off-road and stuff, my advice would be definitely be going for the V6. That would be my choice. Uh, that that's, that's definitely what I would go for. So the front end of the new Ranger looks absolutely sick. Big Ford grill. The width of it now just looks absolutely massive compared to the previous MK2 Ranger. So you've got the big C-clamp headlights and a fun feature they mentioned today is that the, the headlights actually when you turn the steering wheel they'll actually move with you as you're going around a corner so they'll actually start to shift and turn while you're coming around the corner directing your light which is another really cool feature but the size of the grill you got a little washer bottle here and stuff to uh, wash your, your your camera there on the front um, rated recovery points up the front here as well so you can definitely do a good snatch off those things so coming around the side of the Ranger here so as you can see, it's still the T6 platform. The cab is very much the same, same pillars and everything, but they've just beefed it up. So it's 50 mil wider now than the previous uh, Ranger. Different uh, door indents here as well. Uh, handles are very similar to the, the old generation, but we've got new shape uh, mirrors here as well. Um, you've got zone lighting and stuff here underneath. So you can actually, from the display, you can turn on lighting around your truck. So we don't have to don't have to mount auxiliary lights and stuff up on our roof racks and stuff now. You can just hit the button on the dash and bang. You can also do it from the app. So there's an app as well. 
uh, for this truck, the Ford Pass app. So you can also do that. But just, yeah, setting up camp here in the dark, hit the zone lighting on your phone, you've got lighting ready to go. So I've also got cameras here as well for your, th your 360 camera. And what's cool on that is I'll show you on the screen is you can actually get a, a bird's eye view of the truck and you can actually zoom into each corner of where you are to see what's exactly in that position. I've noticed that we've now got disc brakes on the rear drum, so there's no more rear drums. So we've got disc brakes here on the back, which is nice. A very nice upgrade and a lot of people are doing that upgrade now to their dual cab utes too. So uh, This rail here is now rated to actually hold weight in the back of the truck, which is nice. So you actually tie things down using this rail. Um, the new step. So I've looked at how this is mounted because I actually thought it was just incorporated in the edge of the tub here, but it, there's actual brackets and everything that run underneath it to actually support your weight of actually getting up on the back of the truck, which is pretty sweet. So coming back around to the back of the, the taillights here, I love the new taillights, they look sick. And the side, the side arch now, driving these, it feels like I'm driving a, a Raptor, like we had a Raptor on the channel. And just looking out through the back of the mirror, like, this, the stance of this thing looking through the mirror, it just looks so big and bulky, it looks so sick. Coming around to the back here, you got your tailgate. So obviously nice and light. Do it with one finger, which, which is really good. Got your clamps and stuff here, so if you're a tradie, you can stick your, uh, your clamps in there to cut some wood or whatever you want to do. I've got a button in here for the roller shutter, which is pretty sweet. So that's all automatic now. And then you got your, your tub room in the back here. We've got tie down rails here on the inside of the, the tub, which is pretty cool. They just slide along and you just pull the lock out, slide them in to whatever you want to tie down. You can move both of them if you want, or you can completely remove them and take them out if you don't need them in there. Uh, you got your tie down points up the front there for your moto. We've actually got six six in the lower section and then you've got four up top and then you've also got these rail up here which Ford says you can, uh, you can actually tie down with. So around this side you've also got a power socket here so you've got your 12 volt outlet so you can plug your fridge in and then you've got your, your power button here which controls the uh, roller shutter. How sweet's that? Towing is something that Ford's like upgraded heaps now. So with the tow bar and everything, you can now in the, you've got a brake controller and everything now in the cab with you. Ford's thought a lot about towing with the next gen Ranger and they've finally got an integrated brake controller. After so long, like vehicles just don't come with them and you always have to, they've always been an add on. You have to go to an auto electrician to get fitted uh, for your electric brakes on your trailer, but they finally now have an integrated brake controller uh, right there just next to the steering wheel which is really cool so but with that you can also program up to 10 trailers in your ranger so if you had a wide range of trailers you may have three trailers all different sizes uh, you can actually measure them put in the dimensions um, in the ranger and it'll actually integrate that into the blind spot monitoring and everything for you as well but another cool function is when you plug in a, a trailer the the ranger senses that you have a trailer on and it will actually ask you if you want to check your, your brake lights on your trailer. So you can just hit yes. It'll then cycle through all your brake lights, um, your reverse lights, your blinkers and everything, uh, your parkers. While you're standing at the back of the trailer, the car will do it for you, which is really cool. So you know you don't need someone behind your trailer to, to check if your lights and everything are working. So I think that's another great function, but they've really stepped up the game uh, with towing, so having an integrated brake controller, having a, the, the check function for your lights and everything, the vehicle recognizing when you have a trailer on, being able to set a bunch of parameters and everything for each trailer that you have uh, for the vehicle and programming them. They're always, they're stored in the vehicle then, so you can just select that trailer. All the gain and everything is already uh, allocated for that trailer, depending on one, what one you're towing. Um, so it's all just, yeah, it's all in a memory in the computer of the car. Um, which just saves you a lot of time at the end of the day. And we're about to go off road. So the wild track has different functions to what the XLT does. Um, so it just depends on what, what trim level you actually buy as to what features you get. I suppose the biggest thing with this vehicle is actually like how it feels to sit in. It's very, 
it's still very Ranger, still very feels like a Ranger, which is good in my opinion. But I definitely like the whole new layout, the steering wheel, how it feels. Again, I'm used to an F truck with a big wheel, but this steering wheel is very, very nice to touch, very nice to hold onto, to steer with. Again, electric steering in Ranger is just awesome. It's way better than the, uh, the old hydraulic setups, but yeah, it's very light, very light to touch. And just going up some of these tracks, and, and, and even uh, yesterday we were doing some very red clay, slippery sort of stuff, and it was just, in, in any other scenario, you'd think you'd just get a lot of wheel slip and things would just not kind of work, but the Rangers handled it so well. It surprised me with this, these all-terrain jewelers too. Taking many standard vehicles off-road, off the suspension can be one of its highest like downfalls really but this thing is just they have done some really good tuning with this suspension and it's just it's <laughs> you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money on on modifying this thing now you can you can do some pretty good tracks with the the tech that this thing has going up a section here a little bit slippery but the v6 just just chugs along any sort of larger capacity in the engine size, just, yeah, you just don't have to rev it, just idles up, does its thing. After driving the wild track, even stepping down to the XLT, you don't feel like you're stepping down very much. An XLT or a Sport is very, very capable, as capable as the wild track, hands down, no worries. Make zero mods to this thing, because it's a, uh, it's blowing me away today. So probably one of my favorite features on the next gen Ranger is also the giant screen. I thought it may have been too vertical when I first seen the images of the of the Ranger, but it's actually like it's actually perfect. So but all the camera functionalities of the front camera, the 360 degree camera, it's just got so much built into it. The zone lighting and things like that. Well, you got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, all your air conditioning functions are there as well. Um, you also have uh, hard dials at the bottom, which I actually like, so they have them like the, for the volume of the radio and also for your AC and stuff, you also have those at the bottom as well. So in the center console there, I like how they have that little cubby underneath the, the screen as well. So you have a USB-C port, uh, normal USB, and you also have a wireless charging pad just there. So it, it's awesome because you just, I found myself just throwing my phone in there using Apple CarPlay um, from my iPhone and just my phone just charging. Like as soon as you throw it down there, it starts charging. It's so good not to have to have cords and things like that. You have to plug your phone in when you when you get into the vehicle, you just throw your phone in there and, and it starts charging automatically, which is nice. So the terrain modes and things that come in with the four wheel drive system, Wild Track has uh, a bunch of different terrain modes and things like that. Benefit the, the novice uh, four wheel driver who's not, not too sure all the time about what system they should be in. So that does definitely give those people a bit of a hand when it comes to off-roading, but just the simplicity in the XLT that I was I spent most of my time in just to be able to just turn the dial to, to four high, four low, press the diff lock if I needed, the downhill descent control and things like that. It's all very basic and pretty straightforward just to have a button uh, to push those sorts of things in the XLT that I was in. I'm very much a big fan of like old school tacos and stuff in vehicles, but I actually really enjoyed the new instrument cluster behind the steering wheel. Um, having all that information I need when I need it, especially when off-roading, it's telling me what's engaged within the drive line, whether I have the four-wheel drive system engaged, uh, diff lock, downhill descent, and it's really large there on the front of the screen for me to see, as well as the speed and things like that. Instead of just being a small lit up icon down in the bottom of the thing, it's actually large on the screen so you can see what's actually in motion, what's working, what's engaged. So I, I really like the new digital uh, display. I think that's, that's pretty cool. And um, especially in the wild track where you go through your different modes and there's different graphics and stuff, it just, it's very much an experience in the vehicle than, than just than just driving a car. Like it, it gives you an experience when you change the terrain mode and, and the graphics change on the screen. It, it's pretty, I think it's pretty cool. So I'd have to say my top five favorite new features on the next gen Ranger would have to be the three liter V6 turbo diesel, um, especially paired up with the 10 speed. 
I think that's just an awesome combination. The just the drivability of that is just awesome. So that's probably that's probably number one favorite feature. Number two would probably have to be the auxiliary switches, and I think that is an optional pack that you can get on lower models um, other than Wild Track and I think Sport. I think you can option that. So the auxiliary switches that are up in the roof, they're just awesome for hooking up uh, compressors and lights and other bits and pieces that you want to hook up to your vehicle. Number three would have to be the center screens. Love the center, the new center screen. That's just awesome. I love how the dash is a lot more squared off and everything now. Um, but yeah, both screens, just the amount of information and stuff that they give you, I think that's that's just it's just awesome there. The front camera, didn't think that was going to be a big thing for me having a front camera, but doing uh, some of the four-wheel driving that we're doing and going over crests and things like that, I found myself looking at that camera quite a bit to um to see what was down on the other side. So that that is a very, very handy option. And I think probably the last thing that probably my favorite would be the whole new towing setup that Ford's uh, now given us with the, the brake controller built in and also having the, the trailer light check function where you can check all your trailer lights yourself and, and the vehicle just goes through a whole sequence of all the lights for you and you can just stand back and make sure everything's working. So that would probably be, um, be, be my final favorite thing on the, uh, the next gen Ranger. So I'm gonna throw in a sixth thing that I think is pretty awesome, uh, just as, a, as an extra there, that ARB doing the full catalog uh, for the next gen Ranger. So you can have your, your truck on order and from the dealer you can have all these accessories fitted from ARB from the catalog, um, which is just sick. And it's all warranty and backed by Ford, all the accessories that you get through ARB um, that are designed for the uh, next gen Ranger. So, that's just gonna make life so much easier for a lot of people just to be able to pick up their vehicle and have everything under finance, um, have all the warranty and everything is all through the dealership, it's all through Ford. So I think that's that's just another awesome thing and that all these components have been engineered with Ford to fit the vehicle. So yeah, another props there to Ford and ARB for working together and making our life as four-wheel drivers a lot easier. So we'll be making some more content on the next gen Ranger, but that's just the first initial look at, at, at what I think of the vehicle, the engine, the tech, some of my favorite features from the two days of spending it in the vehicle. I would like to get another vehicle and spend some more time in it to understand everything about the vehicle, but we had a lot crammed into just two days. So we'll be making some more videos coming out shortly, but just want to say a big shout out to Ford too. Thank you very much for inviting me down. I had an absolute blast. The whole Ford crew, they're absolutely awesome and, and couldn't help enough um, for everything that we needed regarding to filming and, and everything else. Anything that we needed, they were uh, there to help us. So absolutely awesome. Pat on the back to all the engineers and everyone involved in building that vehicle. They've done an absolutely awesome job. Thank you Ford for putting a, a bigger displacement engine in, putting the V6 in there. Um, we're all very appreciative of, of a bigger engine. Yeah, that's my final thoughts on the next gen Ranger, guys. I will have more content coming out shortly. Yeah, so until the next one, I'll catch you later. See you.